I love seeing this perfectly balanced as all things should be. The bottom, the top, and then the bottom once again. It used to be awful because it didn't exist. Then it hit its peak because it was good. Then in comparison to everything else, it stunk. Are you a productivity nerd? A productivity app nerd? Good, because you can watch this video and if you stick around to the end, you're going to be so surprised by this tier list, you're, you're gonna be baffled. In this video, I'm gonna rank the different productivity apps that I think would be best for YouTube in a tier list. I actually found this setup on the tiermaker.com website. However, I did wanna do a bit of a deeper dive on the tier list itself in this video. So first of all, some of these are the default setup that were in the tier list maker and then a couple of the other ones I added at the end were my own picks to make this a little bit more fun. I also really like the names of these rankings and they're subject to change throughout this ranking system. So first and foremost, ClickUp. I would rank ClickUp as we might see you again someday. So it's only been around for a couple of years, but somehow you soured the entire market by being too loud at uh, all of your amazing features in ClickUp 3.0. Seems like there might be a little bit of a comeback coming. However, uh, name me one person who was pleased with the failure that was the ClickUp 3.0 launch, not me. Great project management, great new updates with ClickUp 3.0, so we might see you again someday. Number two, Evernote. Yeah, you, you're older than dirt. Thank you for being part of the journey. Uh, slow, a lack of large feature set considering the time it's been on the market. If I ever wanna feel something, I actually go to the uh, longest version and time horizon of Evernote's Google Trends search history. And um, I love seeing this perfectly balanced as all things should be. The bottom, the top, and then the bottom once again. It used to be awful because it didn't exist. Then it hit its peak because it was good. Then in comparison to everything else, it stunk. Then they got bought for a little bit. Then like there was a spike, but like no one cared. So thank you for being a part of the journey. See you next year, probably not. Next, Jira. Mm, this is a hard one. I'm gonna have to go with Oh uh, God. I actually think I'm gonna have to add a row. Add a row above. Thank you for being a part of the journey. No, might have to put it at the bottom. This app stinks. Yep, that's um, that's all I got on that. I, I really don't like Jira. Atlassian, shout out for having the biggest suite of apps that companies with way too many people that aren't productive use. Shout out. So proud of everything you've done. All right, next on the list, Notion. Current faves, obviously, I've been a Notion guru fanatic for years, big fan for everything that uh, kind of works with it. I love what it does. I absolutely am enamored by it every single day. I also hate it at the same time. So, you know, it's a pretty good app when it, when you got that nice level of love-hate relationship. Next, Todoist, current faves. I'm actually using this for basic task management now for things like uh, habits or just like keeping up with non-computer related to-dos in life. So I will say that it's got great functionality. We really like the upgrades that they've been making in the last year. Great desktop, mobile, and even watch experience. 12 out of 10. Trello. I actually need a new ranking for this. I'm gonna make it gray. And I'm gonna call this, this isn't dead yet. Yet yeah, Trello. Um, I don't know what you are. I don't know who uses it. I've seen some people. That baffles me when I see it. Um, wild. Wild that it's a, it's a thing. Never been much of a fan though. It's like how everyone always references boards to Trello and then they're like, oh, but why don't we use Trello? Because it's boards and I don't even do, I don't know if I have to really go into this. I don't like Trello. I don't know how many people really do, but it's probably like a two out of 10. Asana, I will use it at work. We like your multi-purpose. Uh, I feel like it's just never gonna gain traction again. I almost went as high as here and then I realized it's never gonna gain traction again. I, I think it's dead. Like Asana is a great company task and project management app for some companies. I don't know which ones I used it in my day job. No one seemed to be thrilled about it. I always feel like there was too many tasks on the list because there wasn't ever a nice ability to quickly archive things or move stuff around and make it usable for large groups of people. So I, um, that was about a four out of 10 for me. This, thanks for being a part of the journey. You're cool. ChatGPT, hooray for versatility. That's what I'm gonna go for this one. You know why? It actually has a lot of cool stuff now. Like the fact that I can, uh, this is awful timing. Look at this, <laughs> reaching my limit when I'm giving it props. Uh, it's really cool now. I mean, we have all these different options when it comes to my GPT, like Dali or Dale, however you pronounce it, just got implemented. Data analysis for any files, um, Santa, you know? What's today's advent surprise, right, Santa? I just wanna know, give me, oh, 
Ooh, we're getting an advent picture surprise. Shout out to the Cubs, 2016 world champs. Oh, that's so cute. I totally didn't just waste 30 seconds of your time. No, but ChatGPT does a lot of cool stuff now regarding pictures, uploading images, documents, so many cool things. Big fan of how it works and how I can talk to Santa evidently. Next, uh, Google Calendar's gotta be on the, we like, uh, Google Calendar's gotta be on your, we might see you again someday. It technically could be in the my current faves because I do in fact use it. I just have the extra layer of Morgan calendar on it now. I just don't know of many people in the app space who have paid attention that use just Google Calendar. Like they probably use Cron or something else on top of it because well, just by itself, Google Calendar doesn't stink, but I mean, it's better than Outlook. If I put Outlook on this list, I mean, I'm gonna, I'd put it in this app stinks category. Like you see this, this app stinks. I just put it in there. But seriously, I don't know many people who are out here like, yes, Google Calendar is awesome after they find out about the layered on tools on top of Google Calendar. Next, Calendly. You know, I gotta put it in the, uh, we like your multi-purposeness. You'd be surprised at this one, uh, mainly because I don't have it up here. And that is because I have Morgan for my booking links. That'd be in my current faves as well. Uh, I don't really enjoy the uh, fact that Morgan doesn't have like the all time highest integration capabilities. I like how this is multi-purpose because it has booking links, but it also has integrations to said things. Like this works great with Google ads for like conversion tracking. It has Stripe and PayPal integrations to get paid. It can embed on your website really nice. If you don't know what Calendly is, it's a great booking link system that really does more than you need it to. So shout out Calendly. And last but not least, I wanted to make a joke about like, has Microsoft Loop been sued yet towards Notion? But I didn't say that joke. It was a thought that I had in my head that I'm rescinding because I don't want to get sued by Microsoft Loop for saying that. So I'm just going to put it in the this app stinks category because we really don't like how much knockoff copy it is to Notion. It's it's on our list of you stink, stinky app. We don't like you. And truthfully, all of these apps kind of stink because it's all preference. And this was my attempt at being subjective in a world filled with objectivity and truth, I'm totally being serious all the time. Just like I'm being serious about the fact that you should check out more content like this one. If you like this video and want to see more just like it, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and check out this piece of content that'll help you improve your skills using productivity tools rather than watching me rank them right here.